Okay, so just another thought here while I'm mounting the solar panel in its new position. I've mounted this bracket, let me see, huh? I've mounted this bracket this way. So the mounting screw is over there, but the, uh, the actual bracket points this way. And over here I've done the opposite. So the bracket points this way. And you can see I've only temporarily put one screw in on the other side. You can see the bracket wants to move this way, of course, because it's overhanging this side. So is this one wants to move this way. Yeah? If you lose the screw, it will fall this way because the bracket is formed that way. So this one wants to go this way and this one wants to go this way. So in theory, if I screw them down to the panel now, these two forces, yeah, the, the panel actually compensates for these two forces then. If I put the panel on the other side, so I'm pointing this way, this bracket wants to move this way as well, the same direction as this one. And the whole structure wants to move this way, including the panel. So I think this is the better solution, even if we have a, a huge overhang of the solar panel up here, which I'm not a fan of. But at the moment I don't know what else to do. If I put it the other way around it would be much better. And I cannot move it any further this way because if it rains the rain will go over the gutter. So and there's the new home of these two solar panels. So they are all the way moved down to the gutter. We've got enough space for the other solar panel up here now. And this is all stainless steel and aluminium. Um, galvanized screws everywhere so they shouldn't rust anymore and to be honest it is super super sturdy I'm very pleased with that and you may have noticed I've put the solar panels a bit of an angle see this one is all the way up and this one is all the way down so they are a little bit on a tilt not as much as before but hey that's enough for me at the moment um, I probably put these fiber class extenders here in here again at some stage to lift them up a little bit more just to give me a little bit more power in winter time but I'll do this at a later stage if at all well this uh, bracket situation here is certainly not optimal I would like to have this this support here a little bit further back but you know, I'm trying to use as much material what I already have without buying new stuff all the time. So I'm using all screws and the brackets and aluminium I found here on the property and make this all work. And this is quite, this is far better than with the old uh, brackets and angles here and extension I have put together. This is super, super tight now. And I'm also going to use this cable here to connect the solar panels. This is a 4mm copper cable. And I don't buy additional solar cables specifically for solar panels or something. I use this 4mm cables for all my solar panels. This is a 100m drum here. I've used 2.5mm cable for the other solar panels as well. And this cable is totally fine. It goes into a conduit anyway. So it's not exposed to any sunlight or something. It's totally, totally covered and protected from UV, rain, moisture, wind, everything. So this will be totally fine. So, and here comes a bit of a tricky part now. These are the two cables coming from the solar panels. One is plus, one is minus. And we've got our self-made cable here now, which has also plus and minus. But now it comes. So the male coming from the solar panel is usually the plus. You can see there's a little plus sign on it, uh, on the plastic. And the female has got a minus symbol on it. So this is where the power comes from, goes through all your systems and then goes back this way into the panel. This is how the generator works. Goes from plus to minus. Our cable now has the same symbols on it, plus on the male and minus on the female. But as you can see, I have to push the minus into the plus. 
See, only it fits in this direction. So what is my minus, this is my minus, becomes the plus. This is where the power comes from. And many people get confused by this and do it the wrong way. And then you connect your solar panel the wrong way around. And maybe it comes to a short or even a fire. So be very careful how to connect these solar panels. Make sure you follow the cable coming from the solar panel plus goes into a minus connector. So this cable will be our plus because it's coming from the solar panel plus. Don't get fooled with the symbol minus on your just crimped cable. This is not the minus, this is just a minus connector, but it is the plus coming from the solar panel. And because I don't want to get confused on the roof when I connect this to my junction box now. So this is the minus connector, but it carries the plus. It plugs into the plus coming from the solar panel. So this is actually my plus cable. So what I will do is I'll just take a black pen and write a little plus here on this cable terminal. So I'm not getting confused when I connect the cables together here with this connector in the junction box. It is a bit cramped here in the, <laughs> in the junction box, but actually it's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it fits. Okay, we just need one cable tie here. And then we are ready to connect our third solar panel. Great. I made a mistake. I measured this cable too short. About 40, 40 centimeters too short. 2.3 meters, but we need at least... I made them 2.8 now. So we should have plenty of slack in these cables. Oh yeah, nice, nice. They only need to reach until the terminals here, but we've got them, yeah, probably a bit too long now, but that's fine. Actually, you know what? It's not too long. Because I can always pull the cables back on the roof out of the pipe if I need to go back to the junction box for some reason, you know. Do some troubleshooting or whatever, or put some new panels on there because the other ones have died. You never know. So I can pull the cable all the way back half a meter onto the roof and then I've got enough space to work on the junction box. While if the cables were too short, I could not do that. I'm limited by the length of the cables. And I'd rather have them here hanging behind the workbench in a loop so I can always pull them back on the roof. So I have now mounted our two um, off-cut rails here for the solar panel and this is where the third panel goes. A little bit further back looks like this and um, I've used these extenders again to lift the whole situation up as much as possible to get good underneath easily underneath and also to um, get the panels more cooling all right it is five o'clock in half an hour it's dark but maybe there's enough time to actually put it on and connect it It wasn't as easy as I assumed. They are fairly heavy. They were 25 kilos, but it's up now. Wow, that was a bit of work. The 
get this baby up here. Heavier than expected, I would say. <laughs> I thought I could lift him with one arm over the corner here on top of the roof, but no, it didn't work out. So probably for all the other panels, I need a second person then to um, help me with pushing them up. Okay, let's um, get this in position and fix it on all four points and then we can connect it and then we are done. Right, we did it. Is it straight? Is it straight? <laughs> I needed to adjust it a couple of times so it wasn't really quite straight. <laughs> but now it's good. Now I'm very happy with that. Ah oh yeah, this is ah oh, super strong. Super strong. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Oh look at all this dirt. And let's have a look at our cables here. And get them connected. And now we should be able to measure some voltage down there. Um, what I will do is I will put these cables into a conduit. I don't want to have them exposed to sunlight or rain or weather or something. So I trust to protect them a little bit more. So I keep the connectors accessible, but I will have a conduit or something between the panels and then cable tie them again away from the roof. But for now, that's all right. That's all we need. Very happy with that, very happy. And I could potentially fit two more panels down there on the gap to fill it up until here and then we've got another six panels space on this side if necessary but I would always start on this side because there's less shade so we start filling up the garage from this side first and then see how big we can go with the battery <laughs> and the solar panels but this is the plan and then we've got more space to expand the system later on cool like it I like it very much 